So typically in serum, if you're not using finasteride or dutasteride, 10% of your testosterone converts to DHT each day. So while using finasteride, you can expect 9 to 15% higher testosterone levels because you're blocking this conversion of testosterone to DHT by inhibiting or blocking again that 5-alpha reductase type 2 enzyme. Now, in some people, this increase in testosterone can also come with an increase of estrogen because there's this thing called aromatization carried out by the aromatase enzyme that transforms testosterone into estrogens. Now, estrogens are just a class of so-called female hormones. And don't get crazy by the term female hormones. Men and women have varying levels of estrogens and androgens. Androgens, that's the class that testosterone belongs to, the male hormones. Obviously, men have higher androgen levels or male sex hormone levels, and women have higher estrogen levels or female sex hormone levels. So because some of that excess testosterone could turn into estrogen, it would be a good idea to kind of monitor that, right? This is actually why some people face libido issues and mood issues, because that aromatization or the conversion of testosterone to estrogens, if the ratio is too skewed towards there being a little bit too much estrogen than what is normal in that individual, that is, again, what can produce those side effects. So it isn't really DHT that's at play here, it's that aromatization and potential increase of estrogen. 